Hello to you, I'm Jesse Johnson. This is Alternative Energy System, a self-climbing falling machine to make electricity. Using permanent magnets, renewable energy system, 97% free energy, physical proof of concept, basic hydroelectricity production, water falls from position A downward in direction B and accumulates at position C. While falling in direction B, its momentum, mass, and force turns turbine fan blades. Turbine is coupled to an electric generator which produces electricity. The same amount of force it took to make the water fall from position A to position C is same that it takes to bring the water back to from C to A. How to do this with solid objects instead of liquid water? Using 1 100th to 1 1000th the force. Example. A massive dead weight solid falls from position A in direction B, coupled to an electric generator by gears, producing electricity, and stops at position C. How to bring a dead weight from C back to A, using permanent magnets as the force. Hold on please, I'm going to move the camera. Now, to continue. To continue, this is the description. Now, number one, this here is permanent magnet number two's cage. This is pa permanent magnet number two right here. Number two. Number two is cage. It is to control the magnet's direction across this steel plate using these little stick setups. Little sticks, little uh, rail, stick setup, little stick setup, and so forth. Number two. Number two. This here is a rough model only, and only a rough model to, to prove the point of operation. One. Magnet number one is attached to the red brick dead weight which is sitting setting on the baseboard right here number two these are dead weight guides right here one here and there's one also here part of it is attached to the red brick and the other part is attached to the to the baseboard this is to make the brick go straight up and down without turning this way or that way but straight up and down, straight up and down. Number three, these here are the springs. Springs. When steel plate is put on top of them, the plate is attracted, attracted to magnet number one, picking up, picking the whole brick up and compressing in the process, compressing the springs down which is attached to the brick. The springs are attached to the side of the brick, so they go up when the brick goes up. When magnet number one's attraction to the plate, to the steel plate, is broken by magnet number two's repulsion, the springs decompress or pop back up, lifting the plate up to the next upper level. Plate posts. These are the plate posts. Number four here. This stops the plate at about one-eighth of an inch to three-sixteenths of an inch above magnet number one. This is, right here, is the first shelves. First shelves. They are approximately one-eighth of an inch above the magnet. Approximately one-eighth of an inch above the magnets. Magnet number one, that is, in this rough model. Now... I'm going to check for clearance of the brick and the baseboard. I wish there should be none, and there is none. None whatsoever. You cannot put anything on there except by force. It is no clearance. Now, number two. The shelves, once again, these are the shelves right here. These are the shelves right here. Shelves right here. They are one-eighth of an inch, approximately, above magnet number one. This is the first step up from the baseboard for the first shelf. For the first shelf.
of magnet number one and the brick. Now, I'm going to, number three, I'm going to put the steel plate, the steel plate, put the steel plate on the shelves and let magnet number one stick to the steel plate. Hold on, please. Oh. Oh, okay, there we go. Now, number four. This is a rough model to get a point across that you can create a self a self lifting system going all the way up. In a finished system, the dead weight has ratchet teeth, which makes it not fall back down because there's a frame around the whole thing, a frame of of rack gear teeth, which which makes it which makes it able to go up. Now the steel plate has a, has stuck to the brick, and there is no clearance because they're stuck together, and there is now clearance. Clearance, nothing but clearance. Clearance, clearance, nothing but clearance. Now, I'm going to put two sticks, two sticks per left and right sides under the bricks. So that way, it will be two sticks high, or two, two sticks thick. Two or uh, two sticks. Here's the two sticks right here. I'm going to put one on the right, two, two thick on the right side right here. Now I'm going to put two sticks thick on the left side. This is the left side right here. Put two sticks thick on the left side. Two sticks thick on the left side. This is to make certain that the brick does not fall back down. Now I'm going to put magnet number two. This is magnet number two over magnet number one to unstick magnet number one and the plate by re magnetic repulsion. The magnets re repel each other while the, while the magnets attract to the plate, the steel plate. Now, to, to go ahead and unstick it. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. And I'm going to put, okay. Unstick. There it is. It's unstuck now. Now, I'm going to check for clearance of the plate, of the plate, and the magnet. The magnet, I mean the brick, is setting on the sticks now. There is clearance between the magnet and the brick. Clearance between the magnet and the brick. Because the repelling force of this magnet has disattached it. This is a rough, rough model. Very rough. It's nowhere near precision. Precision. It is here to get the point across. Now, I'm put, going to put two sticks thick for another step up. Now, I'm going to take these two sticks. Oops. Now, I'm going to remove. I'm going to remove magnet number two. Magnet number two, I'm going to remove and let stick again. Now I'm going to put two sticks, two more sticks thick, two more sticks thick under the brick. Nope, 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 not, not too stick. I'm going to, I'm going to first the shelf. Let me unstick it first. Unstick it. Okay, that's better. Now, I'm going to put one shelf higher, 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 okay, one shelf higher. Now, one shelf higher. Now, the sticks, the brick is laying on top of the sticks. Now, we have clearance. None but clearance. Lots of clearance. Clearance, clearance, clearance.
Lots of clearance. <clears throat> and I'm going to remove the magnet number two so that magnet number one and the brick, magnet number one, can stick to the plate again. So I'm going to remove this magnet. Oh, there you go. Here we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to put it four sticks thick. This is two sticks. This is two more sticks. And I'm going to put four sticks. Four sticks thick. Four sticks high. Four sticks high. Under the right. First, I'm going to go to the right. I'm going to put it under the right. Four sticks under the right. Okay. That's so the brick won't fall. Two more sticks. Two more sticks. Two more sticks. So it'll be four sticks high. Under, that's to keep the brick from falling back. Okay, here we go. Falling back. Now, I'm going to break the, break the field strength. Once again. Break the field strength. Attachment to the brick, and I'm going to search for clearance. Clearance, nothing but clearance. Oops, nothing but clearance, clearance, clearance. Oh, clearance, clearance. Okay, now I'm going to go one more step, one more, one more shelf higher by putting a stick, putting putting another stick up under the shelf so it'll have so you'll be three high then put another one here another one there another one there okay okay now now okay I'm going to remove the um, Oh yeah, let, let, let me show, show it's clear. Lots of clearance. Lots of clearance. Lots of clearance. Lots of clearance. Okay, I'm going to remove magnet number two. Magnet number two. Remove magnet number two so the, so the magnet number one can stick to the plate. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. This is a very rough model. Okay, let's go now. Let's see what's next. Oh, yes. I'm going to put two more sticks thick. So it'll be six sticks high. 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 Oops. Six sticks high. Six sticks high. Be six, two, four, six, two, six, six sticks high. It'll be six sticks high. Step by step. Step by step up the frame. Step by step up the frame. Up the frame. Now I'm going to break the field force of, of, of the magnet and one. Magnet one to the plate. There we go. Whoa! Magnet number one to the plate. Oh, okay. This is a very rough model. And I can easily... Of course, there's nothing that's clearance. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. Okay, let me redo this. At least the brick didn't fall. And and to break the, the force. Oh. And whoa. Put the shelves back. Put the shelves back. Put the shelves back. Oh. Put 
the shells back and oh, break the force. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh. Yeah, magnets are funny, baby. Oh. Put the shelf back. Shelf back. Okay. Put the shelf back. And I'm going to take the repelling magnet away. There we go. A magnet away. Ah, okay. Put that there. That, simply. And there it is. That is it. That is it. Step by step by step. Up, 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 up. Don't fall until you want it to. When it gets to the, gets up to A, when it gets up to position A, you unlock it and it falls under its own weight. Then when it gets down to C, in other words, on a prototype or self-climbing falling machine in actual use, or a Johnson machine, a rack gear frame is used for the dead weight to climb up on. Ratchet gear teeth for both dead weight and magnet to his cage is used to keep dead weight from falling or going up as needed. Go to the links in the description box below this video. Go to the links in the description box below this video for a full comprehension. Non-magnetizable steels is, uh, can also be used when needed on the dead weight and the cage. The greater the dead weight, the more electricity produced. The purpose is to be... In other words, please go to the links in the description box below for full understanding below this video. Number one, this is to be used as an alternative power source on an industrial level as well as otherwise. The form of a self... <coughs> the form of a set of massive... Massive dead weights, the more electricity can be, be produced, the more dead weight there is. Two, once dead weights fall from position A down to position B, it picks itself up via a frame, step by step, from position C back to position A, to be repeated indefinitely. The permanent magnet supplies the main force. Permanent magnets can be in finished in the finished system, 5 to 100 pounds neodymium magnets, grade 52. I want to thank everyone for listening and watching, and please go, go to, please share this video, share this video, and have a very, very good day. Thank you, and uh, once again.